Hey, Matthew from H2 Innovation, presenting you today a moisture trap that has a, a pretty nice feature. So, uh, so we usually have moisture trap with a float switch. So in case water goes in the moisture trap, um, the float switch usually will turn off the pump. Now this float switch is actually shutting, it's actually closing a valve between the vacuum and the moisture trap. Behind the moisture trap, there's a three quarter inch solenoid valve that will, layer, that will let air in. So it will depressurize the moisture trap. When the vacuum is down to approximately zero inches of mercury, there's a valve at the bottom, there's a check valve at the bottom that will release the sap. So basically, the, right now, this check valve is closed because the vacuum in, my, in the forest is maintained, so it's actually holding that check valve. So only the moisture trap is depressurized right now at zero inches of mercury. Um, as soon as the sap will be all gone, that little float switch is gonna, go, is gonna go back down inside the moisture trap. And this valve, the big valve is gonna reopen. So it usually takes a, maybe a minute to, to drain, completely drain the moisture trap. Uh, this is pretty convenient, mo uh, especially for people that have one big vacuum pump and that brings vacuum to multiple uh, stations. So multiple stations with, with extractors and moisture traps in those stations. So those people, what they want, what they need is where there's an accident at one station, they want to prevent the sap that goes in the underground vacuum lines also, but they also want to isolate that station. They don't want to shut uh, the vacuum pump off. They want, to, they want to keep pumping vacuum to other stations. So now the, the big valve is reopening, so creating vacuum again in our, in our moisture trap and the check valve is now reopened. So another good idea from H2 Innovation and a customer. Thank you.